and guts here to help you uh, firm up the back of your legs and your glutes and strengthen your core. We worked the front and back in the, the cardio version, so now we're going to work the side of your trunk to complete the whole core workout. But first, we're going to work our bottom, so we'll swing around. Bend knees, lower your back onto the ground. Your feet and knees are about two hands apart from one another to start with. Hands come down at your sides, bring your shoulders down your back, and then tilt your pelvis under so that your low back is touching the floor. Throughout this, keep your belly button pulling down into your spine, and then take your chin to look up at the ceiling and create space between your chin and your chest. And from here, we'll simply lift and lower. All right, everybody, are you ready to go? We're doing 10 straight up and down. So it's lift, squeeze your butt, and down. Two, and down. So very important that you squeeze those little butt cheeks together. I know my hamstrings are sore from my workout yesterday. How about you, Paula? Yeah. Yeah, anybody else? No. No, good. Okay, well, we gotta work those two harder. Now we know the key. <laughs> <laughs> what number are we at? Nine. Nine. Oh, hold at the top, hold at the top here. We're going to do little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold here at the top. Squeeze your knees together. Keep your feet exactly where you are. If your butt's not yelling, you're not doing it right. Down, up, two, up. This should make your little bum feel pretty tired by the time we're done with it. Five, squeeze your knees together nice and tightly so that you activate your inner thigh. And you'll feel different gluteal muscles engage. Deeper, deeper gluteal muscles. What number are we at? Yes. Eight. Ah, she's faking it. That was 10. Here we go. <laughs> 10 at the top. Pulse, squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six. Oh my gosh, my butt's on fire. Two, one. Hips down. Bring your feet together. Knees stay together. We keep lifting. 10, nine, eight. You should be glad I picked 10 as the number today. <laughs> everybody else, you know, usually I pick 25 or 30, but we're starting with 10 so that everyone can join in. What number are we at? And up at the top, pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down, good. Stretch your legs out for a little bit. Let your hamstrings release. All right, but that's it. They only need a second. All right. <laughs> Lift the right leg up to the ceiling, the real right leg. Shoulders down the back, abs in. Lift your butt off the floor. And lower down. Helen, you all right back there? I'm good. Are you sure? Yep. So we're lifting and lowering. Oh. Oh, the butt cheek's on fire. <laughs> Erica? Mm -hmm. Erica, you know it's certain if Erica's counting. Ten. Ten, hold up their pulse. Ten, oh. nine. Oh, we didn't know this was coming, did you? I didn't tell them any of this was coming. I just told me we were gonna lift them off. One. Oh my gosh. Down. Left leg up. Ooh, it feels good to stretch that hamstring. Here we go for 10 lifts. Up. Down. Up. Down. We're having how much fun on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> it's off the charts. It's off the charts. They can't think of the number. 10. Hold it up their pulse. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, the silence was pretty painful there. Roll to face the front side of the room here. Come up on to your elbows. So we'll show you two different levels for this. We're going to work your obliques, the side body. So to start with, your knee, your hip, your shoulder are in line toward the edge of the mat, and you're on your elbow. So you want to avoid this with this slumpy. Lift your chest up away from the floor. The top leg is pushing down into the floor too, and you'll lift and lower. So that's the movement, is the hip coming down, and then all the obliques working on both sides to help lift and lower. Now, if that's easy for you, you can take both feet out and lift and lower. All right, they're all set up. Are they ready to go? We're ready. We're ready. We're all right. We're ready. What number are we going to? Five. That's our number. <laughs> Five times two is ten. All right. Here we go. Ten. And shoulders back. Abs in tight. And lift. That's one. And two. Keep everything solid. Squeeze so nice and hard. The side body is working really hard to lift you up, isn't it? They can't talk when they do this. 
<laughs> it takes a lot of core strength here, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's good to be down on your knees, though. Come on, Ted. Yeah, All right, Ted. I can't count. Talk to you guys that already. <laughs> Flip around, other side. I always squeeze a few more out there that way. Mm -hmm. All right, line up to the back edge. Elbows directly beneath your shoulder. Everything's lined up. Shoulders back, hips a little bit forward. Hand, if you can, rest on here. If you need more support, even with a knee bend, you can always keep your hand on the floor and keep using the hand for balance, too. But do the best you can and try to get the hips off the floor. Are we ready? Here we go. Ted. Nine. Are you guys doing it with me? Eight. We are. Seven. I don't hear Helen breathing. Six. Yeah, I like it when she Why? counts because then I know she's breathing. Oh, see, she's not breathing. Three, uh -huh. two, one. All right. Good. So we'll come back to seated. Sit cross-legged. Oh. Inhale, lift your arms up. Take your right hand to your knee. Left hand behind your back. Rotate, look over your left shoulder. Stay up on the fingertips so you're not leaning back. And inhale, reach your arms up, and we'll twist to the other side. Oh, this feels good. Yes, it does. It's about time we got to this part, right? <laughs> and inhale, back center, interlace your fingers, press your palms up, a little lean to the side. Center. Stretching out the obliques. We'll reach the arms back down, take the legs out into a V, sit back, get chips and dip out of the way back there, so if you're sitting on your sitting bones, reach your arms up, take them to the floor, keeping your spine long, and then lean forward from your hips. So we're trying to avoid this, which isn't good for anybody, it cuts off your airway. So a tilt forward, you might only get this far. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, pulling your toes back towards your shins. Helen's a real show off in this position. She's yeah. got super open hamstrings. So I'm definitely gonna have to make her do more hamstring curls in the upcoming weeks so that she's as uh, handicapped as the rest of us are. All right. Super, come back up from that. Bring your legs together. And then, again, we're going to do this little flip over to down dog. Just stretch the hamstrings out some more as we come up to standing slowly. So we'll hold here for a few breaths. And then look at your hands. And walk your hands and feet together. Stay folded over in the middle of your mat. And then on a very slow inhale, come on up. Four, three, two, one. Shoulders back. Let's roll your shoulders back. Turn and face the camera, which we're probably like at all belly buttons at this point, aren't we? Inhale, lift up. And exhale down. Way to rock it, ladies. I don't know when we stood up if there was going to be. All right, Helen. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you.